everyone, I just wanted to cut into the beginning of this video to give you a little bit of an intro. This video was originally intended to be in one part, but when I was editing, it ended up being kind of long. So I decided to split it up into two parts and you're going to get one part today and then you're going to get the final part on Saturday. So on the comments of my last video, and I will link that up in the cards if you guys missed that video, but in the comments of that last video, I got a comment from retired school cook that asked me if I had ever made a blackberry cheesecake, and I do have a mixed berry compo on my channel, and I'll link that also up in the cards if you would like to check out that. But that it does include blackberry but I have never made a full blackberry cheesecake so I decided to do that today um, it's going to be a no bake cheesecake so I'm going to be making that today and then I'm going to make it into trifles which you will see on Saturday so stay tuned for that so now on to the video One eight ounce block of cream cheese, six ounces of blackberry puree, a sixth of a cup of Greek yogurt, and we also have a teaspoon of vanilla extract in here. And then we have a third of a cup of granulated sugar. All right, so now we're just going to cream up our cream cheese on about medium speed until smooth and creamy, and that'll take about 10 minutes. Five or 10 minutes. You can use jam or you can use blackberry juice and just because I'm using blackberry doesn't mean you have to use that you can use any fruit that you would like in this and because this was a whole berries it does have some seeds in there and some chunks and some texture, which I prefer. If you don't, uh, you can always run it through a sieve to get out those little seeds. It's totally up to you. speed to get the um the cream cheese and the fruit to emulsify together and with a no big cheesecake you don't really have to worry so much that you're beating a lot of air into this remember I said if it's a baked cheesecake you don't want to do that because it's gonna crack you're increasing the risk of it cracking but with a no bake cheesecake you have no worry of that happening because it's not going to bake so it's not going to rise and fall and then crack so you can feed as much air into this as you like <laughs>
Greek yogurt and um, vanilla extract. If you, if you don't have Greek yogurt or you can't find it, what you can also do is add sour cream in place of Greek yogurt. So I have my sour cream that we beat up in the beginning. Remember this was a third of a cup of whipped cream. And I'm just going to take this off the mixer. I want to take this off part first. Remember to fold, all you do is just pull under, push over, under, push over, pull under, push over, and just be gentle, you just don't want to knock the air out of it. all folded up and this is all ready to go I'm going to clean up put this into piping bags and then we will get to assembling our trifle thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a like down below and leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see next click the top left corner to subscribe to the channel click the top right corner to see the last video that I filmed on the channel last Saturday and click the bottom right corner for a playlist of all the other cheesecake flavors that I've made. Alright, bye guys!